So uh, this week we are in the Washita Mountains visiting a place that's near and dear to my heart. It's a place where I used to go a lot when I was little. Uh, man, I haven't been here since I was probably, I don't know, maybe 12, 13, 14, somewhere in there. Uh, and that was, you know, not too long ago. <laughs> Quite a while ago, actually. But uh, it's still beautiful. So we're at Shady Lake in the Washita uh, Mountains, or right on the edge of the Washita Mountains. It's a beautiful place. So our goal here is basically uh, this week, we are going to try to find uh, places to shoot for the fall colors. Uh, hopefully this week and next week, or the week after, we'll be able to get some good photos of the fall colors here in the Washita Mountains. So we're here just basically doing a scouting mission. I may do a little vlogging with that, take a few shots and, and uh, bring you guys along with me. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, check out this beautiful place here. Shady Lake, Arkansas. So Shady Lake is a 25 acre lake in a remote mountain setting first created back in 1937. The lake is surrounded by a campground and hiking trails. The campground is made up of four camping loops with campsites for RVs and tents. It makes for a great base camp for us to do our photography scouting through the Washita Mountain area. We decided to spend a great deal of the day riding throughout the mountains with no particular spot in mind, just scouting to see what we could see and maybe come back to anything interesting in the upcoming days. The Washita Mountain, the Washita National Forest, covers approximately 1.8 million acres. It's one of the largest and oldest national forests in the southern U.S., created through an executive order by President Theodore Roosevelt back in 1907. There are many well-known trails for hiking, or if you like, you can just hike the creeks and roads like this family here. The mountain roads can be quite narrow. You will often have to pull over to let somebody else through. The roads go for miles and miles and twist and turn up the mountain and throughout the valleys, often crossing very beautiful creeks and rivers. The creeks make for great photo opportunities. The mountains themselves remind me of the Smoky Mountains versus the Rocky Mountains. Basically just giant huge rolling hills covered in forest. After much of the day riding through the Washington Mountains, we decided to take a quick trip to check out a specific location we had our eyes on. We headed to the Cossatot River area. We found one location along the river to get out and walk around to scope it out. It looked like it made for a great morning or evening location to take pictures. Beautiful river. We took note of the location to come back the next morning or evening. The river, while having low water this time of the year, has various spots on it known to be quite a challenge for kayakers. It depends on what time of the year you come and how much the water is flowing. But at certain parts of the year, when the water is at its highest, there's one such place known as the Skull Crusher. This particular area, while the water has, is low, has many great opportunities to take beautiful pictures of the Cascades and the beautiful rocks and surrounding mountains. However, at certain times of the year, it's very full and it's very rapid. All the surrounding rocks and the high flow of water makes for an expert level challenge. On the way back from Kotzatot, we did have time to do a little sightseeing near a local farm to take a snapshot of this beautiful view here. Our plan was to spend yesterday um, kind of finding spots um, to take pictures this morning. I think we found one spot, but I got up this morning and man, I realized I didn't have my raincoat, I didn't have any coat, and the cold front came in and it's freezing. <laughs> 
So yeah, I opened up that uh, RV trailer door and then I shut it right back and went back to bed. Oh man, I'm so disappointed. So disappointed. Brought everything else, including refrigerator and kitchen sink. Uh, but I didn't bring my jacket. So don't I feel stupid. Well, today we are going to uh, hike the um, trail here along um, the Shady Lake, the creek here, the river here next to Shady Lake. We're also going to just try to find good compositions along the trail, see if we can find any nice woodland scenes. So we'll see how it goes. It's my first time in that area since I was a teenager. So you know how things always look more magnificent when you're a child. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So, all right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and find that trail and get started. Man, the air feels good. So, we just got through hiking about a mile, I guess, uh, down the creek uh, here at Shady Lake. Boy, it, it's it's beautiful out here. The colors are beautiful. I don't think it's quite complete, you know, peak fall colors yet, but it's it's still pretty. It's still beautiful. This creek is just awesome. I think it it might be labeled a river, but uh, this isn't no river. This is a creek in, in Louisiana, Arkansas. This is a creek. This ain't no river. Uh, but it, it's beautiful, man. It's really beautiful. So I think I found one spot here. I had to get the tripod quite low. You can see here. Um, we've got this nice pooling water right here, Cascade. And then right up above it is another little small Cascade. And the creek just takes us up into these colors, right? And again, I don't think we're full bloom in the fall colors, but it's still, it's, it's beautiful. I, I just love, I love this wilderness. I love this type of rocks. I don't know what kind of rocks it is. Maybe it's some kind of shell. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure. You got your moss on the rocks and tons of uh, this beautiful rocks. I just, just love it. So this is like one of my favorite types of scenes out in Woodland. So I've got it quite low here. So I've got my ND filter on. I've, I've got it, I'm trying to get it to like a half second exposure. That way my water shows some of the motion in it, but it's not like too creamy and milky. I don't like, I personally, I don't like it when the water's too creamy and milky. I like a little bit of substance, a little bit of uh, detail still left in the water, but I don't want a snapshot either. So I, t I tend to go around a half a second. I know a lot of people go a little bit further than that. So I'm around, I don't know, I don't know close to a half, a little over a half. I've kind of had to set it up to uh, uh, an aperture of F14, which you would think would get this whole scene in, but not quite, not quite. I, I think there's a little bit up front I'm not getting, so I'm still gonna focus stack it. And I'm going to focus stack it heavy just to be safe. Doesn't hurt, right? Doesn't kill you to do a few extra exposures. Probably could get it in two, but I'm going to do four just to be safe. Um, so again, F14, 
I've got a variable ND filter on there. I've got it pretty dark. Um, I've got it set to uh, about a half a second shutter speed. And I'm out at about 35 millimeters. So very pretty scene. I'm gonna go ahead here. Let me show you, show you what it looks like. So if you see here, you see my photo, I've got a little bit of a cascade here in the front, another cascade further up, and then I've got the wilderness uh, in the background there. Lots of colors, very beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and, and take this shot. So I'm gonna suppose, I'm gonna focus on infinity there. I've got a two second timer on it. I'm gonna go ahead and take that shot. I'm gonna focus towards the middle here. Go ahead and take that shot. I'm gonna focus here on this waterfall. Go ahead and take that shot. And one more time towards the bottom here. Go ahead and take that shot. So, oh yeah, that water, I think that water is just perfect. I can still see some of the details, not too milky, but you can see that flow right in it. Beautiful shot. And I just love the trees, love the trees in distance. I, I, I like this shot. You never know until you get on the computer and really check it out, but I, I think it's, I think it's going to be a beautiful shot. And, uh, and the colors, the colors are quite nice. So I think it's going to be, be beautiful. I think it's going to be a good shot. So we're going to take off from here. Hopefully we can find one more spot before we have to call it a day. But we're going to pack up and uh, start hiking some more and see what we can't find. Here, I'm going to go ahead and show you that shot. I hope you like it. We're going to take off, start hiking some more. Hey, good morning. So as you can tell, uh, it is the next day. It's in the morning. Uh, my wife and I hiked another mile or so and we saw some beautiful scenes, but not enough to actually sit down and, and take a video with you and show you. But it was a good little hike. It was nice spending time with my wife out in, in the wilderness by ourselves and just enjoying nature. So hey, if you have that special someone, be sure to do that. Spend time with them. Get out of the house, especially during COVID time. Just get out in the wilderness, enjoy each other, enjoy the nature. I, uh, I quickly wanted to uh, apologize. In that last scene, I actually realized that there was a huge smudge on my lens. No, that wasn't fog. That, and you could probably tell because there's a smudge, because it's only on one side of the lens. But yeah, there was a huge smudge. And uh, boy, this, this uh, trip has been a, a learning uh, adventure for me, a lessons for me. Um, I learned to never forget my raincoat and my regular coat, especially in the fall or winter. Uh, when you're doing landscape photography, duh. And I also learned wipe your lens every single time. Don't forget to check it, wipe your lens. So my apologies, hopefully you still enjoyed watching us take that photo and enjoyed that photo. Um, so we're sitting here in the truck waiting for the rain uh, to, it's raining outside, it's cold and it's raining. And if it was summertime, I probably wouldn't care. I'd just hop right out there, but without a jacket and uh, raincoat in the winter, that's probably not a good idea. So we're sitting in my truck. Uh, we're hoping to capture a scene close to camp here that uh, I think you might enjoy. Um, so if the rain lets up as soon as the sun rises, we're going to walk over there and see if we can't get this final shot. Just in case we don't, hey, no worries, stick around. We're going to show you some photos, some, some snapshots uh, from uh, night before last. So night before last, we did get a chance to uh, check out another place in this area. Now, it's a, it's a beautiful place. We were actually going to go back there last night, but the, the, the weather just wasn't right. The, there, was, there was so much overcast, the, the sunset 
just wouldn't have been right. So there's a, it's, so we're going to show you some snapshots of that place. No video of it, but you should uh, really like these snapshots. I, I love them. They're, they're, they're beautiful photos. They could be so much better if we can just get out there and capture it in the right light. And uh, we'll, we'll be sure to do that, actually, in our next video. In our next video, we're coming back to this area, and we're going to visit and spend most of our time at that place. Hey, if you made it this far, I just wanted to say thank you. We appreciate you. Appreciate you watching the videos with us. And it's it's really a it's a it's a big help. And 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 we want to thank you. Thank you for for uh for taking the time and just enjoying our videos. We put a lot of work into it, so we hope that that, that some of you guys, some of you out there are actually enjoying it. Uh so you know hey leave a message below just say hi and also if you're new to the channel hey click subscribe uh, hopefully you, you'll you enjoyed this video and you'll enjoy seeing more so click the subscribe button below and uh, stay tuned for upcoming videos also if you like this video click the like button thank you for joining and we'll see you again next time